Hi, this is Gary Rosenzweig. If you've been using mail for a while, you know that your mailboxes can get pretty full, especially if you save every email like I do. Let's look at how you can optimize your OS X mail program and maybe speed it up a bit. So I like to save all my email, which means I have tens of thousands of emails on my machine, some dating back 10 years. Now I like to use this as a business tool to be able to search through them, remind myself of old projects and things like that. But sometimes it can be a bit cumbersome. So every once in a while I like to do a few things just to clean it up a bit. So one of the things I like to do is I like to remove a lot of attachments. Since I do a lot of work in media, sometimes I'm sending emails that have megabytes of attachments and sometimes I'm receiving them as well. These things aren't as important because of course I save them in other places. I don't really need them to be saved in my email as well. So I'll go back and find an old email that has an attachment like say this one. And then I'll be able to go into the message menu item and there's a remove attachments option. Now I can remove a single attachment from an email but I can also select a whole ton of emails, everything in a folder and use the same remove attachments option to remove them from all of them. Now I found out that even in the most up to date version of mail sometimes this doesn't work. So sometimes what I do is I create a smart mailbox that has any email that has an attachment. It's pretty easy to do if you've used smart mailboxes before. And then I remove them from all of those. It seems to work perfectly if you do that but if you instead select 10,000 emails of which only maybe a few hundred have attachments, mail just doesn't seem to remove the attachments all the time. Hopefully it's a bug that will be fixed at some point. Now the next step I like to do is to actually go into my saved folder which is where I put all my email after I'm done with it. After it goes out of the inbox it goes into the saved folder. And I can sort it by file size. So I can actually go ahead into the view menu columns and add size there. I just leave it there by default. And I can sort it by size and see what the biggest emails are and maybe get rid of those or deal with them in some way. Now you may want to sort by date received and then delete all the email that's say more than a year old. You may want to first archive all that email. There are a couple ways to do this. One is simply to go to the mailbox menu and select archive mailbox and that will create a file that has an archive of everything in that mailbox. Then you can go ahead and delete the old ones knowing you've got a copy somewhere. Another thing I like to do is sometimes go into my user folder and look in the library under mail and you'll see that everything is in there. And simply archive that entire folder to a CD or DVD. This is a great way to back it up and be sure you've got it. Now once you've cleaned things up a bit you still need to reclaim the space on the drive because what happens is a lot of times uh, you delete attachments or delete some emails and it kind of stays on the drive until you basically do this which is to go into the mailbox menu and select rebuild. Now you have to do this for each folder you've got. So say if you've got a saved folder or maybe a folder for specific types of email like work, personal, that type of thing. You're going to have to do it for each of those folders. And if it's a big folder it could take several minutes to do it. But once you do that it will compact all that email down to exactly what you need and give you some hard drive space back. It will also Optimizing mail is particularly important if you use smart mailboxes a lot. Smart mailboxes of course are just searches that are performed on an ongoing basis. So you can have a smart mailbox that just say has all the email from several particular people and you can find it very quickly as if it was all just one folder. But these searches are performed constantly and if you've got tens of thousands of emails like I do sometimes they can slow performance down. Anyway, it's a good idea to probably clean out your email, archive it, and improve performance at least once every six months. Until next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.